got a message that said, come on up the road and take a look at something. So, we're going to go check it out. Well, that's not what we came to look at, but anyways, that's sitting there. 414 came out and they put a 436 out of a 1566 in it. He locked up the other one, but it was already locked up once previously. Yeah, new clutch, new pressure plate. So they went to Pennsylvania the other day and got that motor and came back with these. Brand new reproduction roll bars, international reproduction roll bars from Martin's Tractor Salvage. Pennsylvania. Apparently there's a whole pile of internationals up there. I've never been to that one. I went to the, the other one over there with all the Olivers. It has the toy store and, and uh, all that. But these are all welded together. Brand new steel. Canopy tops all need to be painted. They're going to pop the cab off at 1066 in there and put one of these on there. And then the 766, they have uh, the other one's going to go on the 766. And the 1086 is sitting in here and it's got a fuel pump out of it to get worked on. And here's the motor out of the 1066 this used to be the old welding shop the local town welding shop but the old man retired so they rented the building the neighbors rented the building to be the new tractor mechanic shop and this is where we were going to bring our 1066 to but sounds like they're going to be a little busy so it might be end up have to wait till winter time. Now the motor that's in that 1066 is a come out of 1586. Um, so they had to change the fuel lines and stuff because they're different. But their plan is to rebuild that motor, give these boys some experience learning how to do this stuff since nobody else around here wants to do anything they uh they're gonna get them some experience learning how to do this stuff i didn't even notice this part over here brand new floorboard brand new floorboard deck brand new steps brand new fenders for 66 I'm assuming the John Deere box has the fender mounts. Maybe. All kinds of new stuff. Always oh, running into a traffic jam somewhere. I got a big old international pulling a big old international. We're doing about 25 miles an hour. I don't know if the speedometer is right. This is the trailer that they haul up and down the road all the time. Behind usually an 86, but he's got a 66 hooked up to it today. An 806 on the back. They haul it, go back and forth from one farm to the other like this. All the time.
would y'all feel if I just did this all day, just follow these guys around, just riding down the road like this? <laughs> what y'all watch yet? Animal tractor slowed down. I don't know if it, I wouldn't have thought that would even have phased him, but he is crawling up this hill. This hill ain't that big. That big old tractor ought to be on hold of that thing. Now he's building his speed back up again. Slowed down to a crawl. I think it must be heavy back here. I wouldn't think it would be that heavy. Ain't no heavier than a silage wagon. Car coming. check it out. Let's see if we can get a picture of it for you. It's a brand new, brand new baby. Hereford Longhorn. It's got a white face, white all around, black socks, two black flanks, skunk baby. White on top, and that's River Junior there. She's the one that when she has a calf, you can't go up there and just, she's not mean, but when she has a calf, you go up there to get close to that calf, she'll, she'll rack you with her horns. She ain't liking the fact that I'm out here. She knows we up to something. Look at that little buddy. He's cute, buddy. I seen him calling his mommy. <laughs> They're all hiding from me. But anyways, that's the little one that got out yesterday. The little red white face one. And there was six out here. Um, but now, there's another one right there. A little black one. So now that we got like nine, there's that one there, and that one, but that one was already here. So let's go see if we can find the other one. Cause there was nine that I'm counting brand new babies the other one's down here in the field somewhere he was over there somewhere where's he at maybe it's that one right there and those two there i think this one's the other new one right here yeah i think that's the new one the other new one i think that's the other new one bunch of little herford babies Bunch of little white faced Herefords. good shot but he's white face with black ears 
That's the other Mr. Bully. He said, what do you want? We're getting wet, y'all. <laughs> nah. This one right here is a new one too, I think. I don't know who his mama belongs to. Boy, you're having a good old time. He's out here running around and kicking up his feet. I guess he likes the rain. <laughs> he had calmed down though, but he was running back and forth there a minute ago. That old bull. He's just running around all crazy like because it's raining playing or like looks like he's trying to hurt his cows is what it looks like he's trying to hurt them in a certain direction i've never seen a bull do that before i don't know why but he's out here running he just takes off running and and then now he's way away from them. It's like he's herding them all to that back corner for some reason. Hopefully that wire ain't on the ground. It's just he's acting all crazy. I can't seem to get him on camera doing it. I never seen him do that before. This crazy bull is trying to herd all of his cows over in that corner. Because the longhorn started coming my way. And that crazy bull is chasing her back to the other cows. He is literally trying to herd them all into that corner for some reason. Because I'm out here, I guess. But then he goes walking way over that way towards the woods and then he comes back I, I've never seen him do that before but he is definitely trying to herd the cows together towards the woods Now he's done picked on one of the red ones. Oh, he's, he's confused. He picked on one of the red ones and he was chasing around like he was trying to, like somebody's in heat. But he made a circle and then he let go of it. Crazy. I've never seen that before. They're all starting to come out of the corner now that the rain has kind of slowed down. They're all running around crazy like playing. And now here comes the bull. Except at this point he can't herd them back into that corner. So look at him. Look at him. Here he comes running across the field. Chasing the longhorn. There he goes. He's trying to herd that longhorn back to the corner. But it ain't gonna work this time because all of them are moving out. This cow with the, this red cow with the other baby ain't paying no attention to him. Uh, he's going back after the longhorn. He don't know which one to go after now. Cause they're all just doing what they want to do. Here he comes again. Which one's he going after now? He going to run back to the front of the herd. Chase them. When I first seen him do it, he was chasing the babies around. I caught him walked off left for calf. <laughs> He's 
then got them going back in their back into that corner again. This little kid's going right up here, run right into me. Hi, baby. You having fun? You're awful cute and stuff. Yeah, you're awful cute there, little bully. Your mommy's to the left. Years ago, back when we had the dairy cows, I had all the beef cows in a different pen. I'd just go out there in the middle of the field and sit with the cows. Just sit out there in the middle of the field with cows once in a while, watch the babies. And watching watching beef babies run around and play is fun. Um, and I ain't done that in a long time. Just go out there in the field and just sit there and watch them. But I ain't never seen a bull do that before. I've seen a thousand bulls in my life, and I've, I, I know I've heard, like, buffaloes do that. I know horses do that. But I have never seen a bull do that before. Just deliberately herd the cows into a corner like that. I'm assuming because of the rain. Uh, I don't think it was because I was there. But maybe it was, I don't know. But he was definitely doing it. He was doing it the whole time. As soon as it started raining, before it started raining, he didn't care. But as soon as it started raining, he continually kept hurting them back in that corner. I, but I've never seen that before. So, anyways, it's news to me. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, yeah, this video is going to be a little short. Um, bunch of bunch of sitting in the pasture field watching crazy bull you know so hope y'all enjoyed hope you like and subscribe um we have reached our 4,000 watch hours so we're eligible and now we're having another issue when i go to sign up for all that stuff it won't let me my phone just keeps buffering, buffering, buffering. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to find a different phone or something else to try to do it and see if it will sign up or what. I don't know. These cell companies suck when they phase out your equipment to force you into buying new equipment. Um, they just suck. But anyways... So that's what's going on. It's raining. We were going to do something and then it started raining. So we didn't get nothing done today. But we're going to get back with y'all and, you know, there's this is Saturday. So maybe we'll do something tomorrow. It was really hot today. Like it has been. It's like 90 some degrees every single day. So, you know, what are you going to do? Nobody else got moving today either, so. Um, but anyways, catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.